As you say, uh, Monday night game, 10 days between matches, is, is that a good thing? Would you feel a bit stressed? Uh, I don't really see it good or bad, if I'm honest, at the minute. We've got, you know, we have a, we've got quite a lot of problems on the injury side and, you know, 10 days extra supposedly helps, but uh, whether it does or not, I don't know. I'm waiting to see, you know, um, what the situation is. But it's, uh, we've just got to keep going, us. We've just got to keep going with whoever's available and uh, another another tough game coming up. Who are those injury concerns at the moment? The usual ones, you know. Um, we've, we've, had, we've had the odd odd new one this week, but the usual, uh, you know, Gunnarsson, Zahor, uh, Mendes, has, he played 60 minutes the other day, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, we're going to actually have another game this morning between ourselves, just to give people that haven't had games, you know, like Connolly and Pilkington. And, um, there's, there's five or six Halford, people like that, um, some sort of game time rather than training. Um, so it's just a matter now, I think, of getting up, up to January, where at least we can bring, you know, if we do have numbers, we can see where we need to actually bring probably another one in to help us. You know, we've been talking about if we get everybody back fit, we might not need anybody. But it, at the moment, it doesn't look to me like they're going to be back fit. So it's a, it's a concern to me at the minute. So there's no chance of Gunnarsson or Zahor being ready for Monday? I wouldn't have thought, not Zahor, I wouldn't have thought Gunnarsson would have, would, have, uh, would have a chance. Although, you know, we, we haven't written him off. He's, if, you know, he recovers, he had an injection yesterday and... Uh, I think we'll see how that how that goes, really. We know that now there's no, it's not his original injury. It's I think it's just a piece of floating bone that's probably been there a while. So hopefully the injection will calm it all down. And uh, in terms of the run you're on, Neil, you could again go five games on the trot, five wins on the trot, which you did at the start of the season, of course. <clears throat> Do you think you're better equipped to keep that momentum going further this time? Um, not really. I think I think the start of the season was the same. You know, but the only thing different is is we didn't know some of the players at the start of the season. We had to get them in quick. I mean, that was why we had a great pre-season. Really, we were together for quite a long time without going too far in distance. You know, went to Cornwall, and I think that would really helped us with all the new players. Um, and we started really well, and uh, you know, but everybody's fit and buzzing. You know, now we've got. Uh, a different challenge in, in the lads who have been waiting for their opportunity of getting it and they're taking it. I've been really pleased with the, with the, you know, the lads at the, in the background. So um, that's where you need a squad and I think that epitomises to see the injured lads coming into the dressing room after the game and being first in the dressing room to congratulate the lads that were playing. You know, I think it's, it, 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 it's good that when you see the spirit like that.